Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now, this is a follow-up video to the previous one I released about crow brakes. And what I've done in this video, I've shown you how to set this up to your throttle so that when you lower your throttle, the crow brakes would actuate. In other words, your, uh, both your ailerons would go up to act as crow brakes. Now, this was prompted a while ago by a subscriber who wanted to know how to do this. So every time I produce new videos for yeah, open a new operating system for your radio. I'm going to go through these things again so that you can see how to do them. So let's switch over to the computer and have a look. All right, first thing, let's go to flight mode. Okay, you can see, as in the previous video, the crow brake is set up at 40% and we've got our flap settings. Now, if we go to the inputs, all will be as default. All right, now we're going to take a look at the mixes. Now, let's go on to the first line. Uh, of our first aileron and you can see it's switch SE the weight is the uh, global variable one the crow one the curve is zero now we're going to select logical switch four which we're going to go and have a look at the logical switches in a minute and then we've got a delay of 1.5 up and 1.5 down so we go to our second servo for our second aileron and you can see there our source is switch SE our weight is the global variable this is a negative global variable for the crow brakes, global variable one, are all set zero, curve zero, and you can see logical switch four, and we've again, again we've got 1.5 delay up and down. All right, now we're gonna move on to our logical switches. Now here, this is slightly different to the way we did it before, so we need two lines on our logical switch. We also will need to have the safe throttle set up, but let's uh, go and have a look at this. So log logical switch three, you can see that is A is smaller than X, where V1 is A, and that is the throttle. And I've set this up to uh, minus 25 to get this to work. You could play around with this if you wanted to, but this is how I've set it up. Everything else is uh, normal. Uh, we go to logical switch four, which is and logical switch one, uh, one. So this would have to be used with a um, safe throttle, but you, you would do that with an electric model anyway. So it's logical switch four is and logical switch one, and then the switch SE in the back position. So if we now, let's go to special functions before we demonstrate this, you can see I've set up special functions 9 and 10 and they are for playing the tracks which is not logical switch 4 will play the track crow off and uh, special function 10 is, is uh, logical switch 4 play track crow break on. Now let's demonstrate this. Let's get to simulate. Okay, I'm going to click and bring up channel maps. Okay. Channel mapping. Right, so now if you take a look at this, we are armed, so we our throttle is working, so if we leave the throttle up and then we put the flaps, flaps on. Now if I drop the throttle, you can see that the ailerons aren't going up into crow brake, so we're going to leave the throttle up. Now we give full flap, flaps, full. and if I bring the throttle down, crow on. you see the crow brakes come up, so the ailerons are still working. But now we have crow brakes so let's just demonstrate that again so if i as soon as i take the flaps off uh, into half flap not full the crow brakes come back uh, down again so one more time so we bring so we bring the throttle up crow on. Crow off. and there we go demonstrated now let's take a look at the radio and operating our crow brakes from the throttle so let's tap here, we need to go to model settings and we are going to go across to our mixes. So let's go to our first channel for our first aileron and edit and you can see we've got source switch SE, our weight is the crow uh, global variable, offset zero and curve zero and you can see we've selected logical switch four and we've got to slow up and slow down delay one point of uh, uh, slow up and slow down of 1.5 seconds okay we're coming out we're going to go to our second channel that we use for our ailerons we can take a quick look at that and you can see the switch source is se this time it's negative um, G, uh, global variable crow offset zero 
div zero. We are our switch is logical switch four, and we've got our slope and slow down to 1.5 seconds. That's our mixes. Now let's move on to our global variables. You can see the global variables there. Those two are for the flaps, flap half, flap, half, flap full, and this is our crow. You can see we put 40% in there. Now that you would have to play around with on your model. Now we go to our logical switches. Now, unlike the previous version of the crow brakes, we need two logical switches. So the first one there is, let's just go and edit it. We're looking at A is smaller than X, where A is V1, which is the throttle stick, and V2 is a value of, of minus 25. Then we go on to logical switch four, let's edit that. And the function is AND, logical switch one. So you would have to have a safe throttle set up for this. Um, the, where and V2 is, and there's no value, and our switch is gonna be our switch SC in the back position. Now let's move on to the special functions. And there you can see we've got two special functions set up to play the crow bake off and crow bake on. The first one is not logical switch four active, which is a crow off. And the second one is logical switch four active crow on. Now, if we come out, let's demonstrate this. We'll see our channel maps. Right, so if we actuate our throttle here, you can see nothing's happening. So if we now put the flops, flaps half, nothing's happening again with the crow brakes to the other ones. But if we, we put crow on, you'll see every time I put the throttle up, if it'll down, the um, ailerons will go up, that gives crow brakes or crow off. So you can see they're actuating on the throttle. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.